are very happy with this year's edition. This is the third day and uh, the visitor numbers are at least 40% over the previous edition. participated from the very first show actually, uh, meaning it's our ninth participation as an Austrian pavilion uh, with a group of Austrian companies here at the Project Feta. And uh, well, the Austrian companies tell us always that it's a very good marketplace in the end, or it's a very good place to meet their contacts, their business contacts, uh, which helps them, uh, support them very much in their business. Qatar is doing very well. They have an ambition to develop the country, we see impressive plans and they're trying to diversify the economy and we see an excellent fit for Swedish companies in a number of different sectors, so it really makes sense to be here. Malaysian companies have uh, a lot of experience, not only in Malaysia but also in a number of uh, countries overseas, including Qatar, with the uh, dynamic uh, transformation of the Qatari economy not only uh, in preparation for the World Cup uh, 2022, uh, but also massive infrastructure going on here, buildings, roads, highways, railways. We believe uh, Qatar offers lots of opportunities for Malaysian companies. I think you have to be where the action is. Project Qatar has, I think, become the largest trade exhibition of its kind in the Gulf, uh, perhaps in the whole of the Middle East. And we're also well aware that um, not only do our competitors come here, but also really uh, our experience with trade fairs uh, in this region is that uh, they attract people from much farther afield. So we get people from Russia, uh, from Central Asia, from South Asia, right through into Africa. And uh, it's, it just gives us an opportunity to expose our brand and our companies to a much broader audience. We've done quite a bit of research before choosing a venue and after quite a bit of research we've found and we have found correctly that this is it. This is the main construction trade show in the Middle East, uh, if you ask me, not just Qatar. We've gotten inquiries from folks in Saudi, in the UAE, so yeah, I think we've, we've done good by choosing this event, absolutely. It's a great, it's a great show. As Germans have a very great exposure here. I mean, uh, we are present with a very professional booth. Um, we are strong together because we have a common, a joint exposure here. And uh, actually, uh, the organization of Project Qatar is uh, very professional. Uh, we really appreciate that, and we look forward that we are having an increased um, number of exhibitors next. Il y a beaucoup de projets dans la perspective de la Coupe du Monde, mais pas seulement. Il y a 100 milliards de dollars de projets au Qatar dans les 10 ans qui viennent. Euh, et donc il est important qu'on aide les entreprises françaises à se positionner. Deuxièmement, c'est un très beau salon. C'est un salon qui grandit tous les ans, enfin, qui a extraordinairement grandi depuis l'an dernier déjà. Enfin, donc il fallait qu'on soit présent sur le salon. مثل ما قلت لك يعني سوق القطر يعتبر أحد أهم الأسواق لدينا نحن وإن شاء الله راح نحاول إن إحنا نعمل جاهدين إن إحنا نزيد هذه المشاركة وبالتعاون مع المنظمين حقيقة اللي موجودين قدرنا نحن نوصل لها الرقم وإن شاء الله نتمنى إن إحنا نكسر هذا الرقم في الأعوام القادمة إن شاء الله. Project Qatar is one of the most important events in the GCC countries because it provides quality uh, business environment for B2B meetings. That's why 24 uh, Greek companies decide to participate this year in the show because uh, they want to expand their businesses and activities uh, to this uh, region. Qatar is an extraordinary opportunity to introduce our business to a very specific uh, audience uh, it was an extraordinary opportunity to meet the developers, uh, contractors, and uh, many uh, engineers uh, and uh, interesting uh, people that uh, would like to adopt our services.